Both teams have sent their special teams out of the field, and we're ready for the opening kickoff. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oregon's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. He's taken down at the 45. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. Complete, brought down, nothing to do it. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. At about the 21. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And they make the stop at the 20-yard line. Steps up in the pocket. Quick strike to the receiver. That makes it first and goal. Here we go. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. We've got second and goal. Ball on the five. Touchdown, Oregon! And he adds the extra point. A 10-play, 74-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 7-0. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He's scrambling. He's to the 40, and he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. From their own 39-yard line, first down. Tackle made at the 48-yard line. That brings up second and nine. Give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Red 
He scrambles. And he's taken down right around midfield. Three yards to get the first here on second down. Nice run up the middle. Now he's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. That makes it second and 14. Here's the eighth play of the series. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. Knocked out of bounds at the 21. That was a good reaction to the blitzing linebacker. That's what you like to see out of a young quarterback. He just has to ignore the pressure and get the ball out of there on time. From the 21-yard line, it's first down. Gets it out quickly. Brought down at the 18-yard line. That'll make it second to seven. And this is the 10th play of the drive. And he can't get away from the pressure. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Let's go! Makes the grab and steps out right away. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. So after some discussion, the call on the field stands. This is the 12th play of this drive. He's tackled around the seven yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That brings up second and goal. That brings up a second and goal. Seven yards for the touchdown. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. That makes it third and goal. So at the end of one quarter, the Ducks lead 7-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we're going to mic the 48 right now. Let's go. Ready. 345. Steps up. Number six is the intended receiver. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. He 
It's up, and he got it. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Oregon holds a four-point lead. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. That'll make it second and four. Now he pitches it. He's to the 40. And down he goes, right around the 48-yard line. Gain of 21 yards. First down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Watch the slant. Watch the slant. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. Lucky, lucky. 59, Philly. Lucky. 59, Lucky. 59, Philly. <laughs> He's at the 40. He's at the 30. And they bring him down at the 20-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Hey, check Mike 39. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. Buffalo, Buffalo. 58. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. Let's get that ball, Let's get that ball right here. Hey, check it out. Regular, regular, regular. Hey, look. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The quarterback decided to pitch it on the option, but the back had nowhere to go. Just a perfect defensive scheme for stopping that. They got to the option before it got to them. It's third down and seven to go. Ball on the 17. Just throws this one away. He gets it up, and it splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage the team's confidence if it keeps happening. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. Four down, four down. Hey, look, run it. Run, run, run. They hand it off again. He fights forward to about the 23. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was in bounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. So the call on the field stands. They go back to him on a quick throw, and he hits him hard at the 29. That'll make it second and long. So it's second and 17. Ball on the 29. Watch, watch number 86. Watch 86. He's out of bounds at the 45-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage.
That's a great tackle at the 43. From the 43 yard line, first down. Play action. Pad protection now scrambles. They'll make the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. That'll bring up second and 11. From the 45 yard line, it's second down. Hey, alert 48. Alert. Hey, we go Mike to 48 right now. Let's go. Ready! Green 95! Uh -huh. Nice grab on the play. He's at the 30, and he's level at the 24. This is the ninth play of the current drive. Gonna go across the middle, caught. He's taken down at the 11-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 11. The 17-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. They'll knock him down for a loss. Call it a loss of one yard. That'll bring up third and long. And this is the 12th play of the drive. at the 15 yard line the screen pass goes nowhere well you got to take your hat off to the defense all week they preached over and over again how they were not going to let this kid use his speed in the open field and they really shut him down that time Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Oregon staff, you, you've got to think they're going to be happy. They're almost here at halftime. They've got the lead, and their main guy's not playing very well. Well, to think that they have this lead without him playing well, I think, is a testament to the way they've approached this week. You know, he's he's eventually going to catch fire. I'm sure as they talk to one another at halftime, they're probably not going to get too far away from the game plan. Continue to utilize their star player and hope that the others continue to play well in the second half. I think anytime you lose yardage, it's frustrating as a ball carrier. It's very frustrating as a play caller. Makes you a little bit more hesitant maybe to go back to a certain play. The biggest thing you want to do as an offensive coordinator is get the offense over the sideline after the series, make sure everybody's on the same page, and then show the confidence that you still have in them despite this play that you're going to go right back to the running back and trust that offense. And he tackles him hard at the 38-yard line. Oregon is up four. Going long. Brought down in the open field. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Ducks lead it by four.
We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in, in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and, and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use the strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, in the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. And they make the stop to 32-yard line. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Makes it to the 41. complete he's got room to work and he's tackled at the 50. Short yardage situation here it's second down and one. some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. He's going to try and scramble. The ball is loose. Picks up the loose ball. Not a good time to fumble the football. And that guy feels horrible about it. He's got to forget about it. Go out there and play hard the next time they hit the field. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Oregon is up by four. Here we go! Little screen pass. He's to the 40. And he's taken down at the 49. Number 61 on the tackle at the 49 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Here we go! Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Call a gain of 13 yards. First down. Check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Been a long day for you. Let's go. Easy, easy, easy. Three, 19. Three, 19. Hot. Tackle made at the 40. From the 40 yard line. Second down. Check pass, check pass. Hot. Now he's scrambling. Brought down at the 31. That's a deep. 
That'll bring up third and six. Watch the pass. Let's go. Throws to the tailback, incomplete. So it's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. The kick is up. It's got the distance, and it's good. They're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense comes back out. And as I'm sure you'll remember, their last possession ended in a lost fumble. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Knocked out of bounds around the 39-yard line. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. Fires out to his receiver, and he's tackled right away. That brings up second and the 49-yard line. From their own 49-yard line. First down. And they'll run him again. Nice run to the outside. There's a very impressive open field tackle. From the 34-yard line, first down. Got a man, watch out here. And down he goes at the 30. play of this drive. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. From the 19-yard line, second down. for a loss. That is a loss of one yard. That makes it third and 11. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Three down, three down. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we're going to mic the 48. Here we go. Easy, easy, easy. Buffalo, Buffalo. Three, three, three. And he's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. Makes it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long field goal attempt. The kick is away. It's long enough, and he splits the uprights. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it, and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goalposts. 13-9. Oregon, Purdue, kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
The Boilermakers have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team's put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. Oregon holds a four-point lead, and they'll bring him down behind the line. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball of the 22. Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. The Ducks lead it by four. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Some open field. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. Just throws this one away. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, that could have been big if he could have gotten a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He makes his way to about the 42. from their own 42-yard line. It's first down. He's scrambling. He's at midfield, and he hits him hard at the 46-yard line. to about the 37-yard line. That's good for a game in the yards. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we're going to the 48 right now. Let's go. Got an opening. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 22-yard line. on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That's a loss of five yards. That brings up third and Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at the 26. That's a gain of one on the play. It's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Just under three to go in regulation. He gets it up, and it's long enough. And he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Yeah, this has just been a classic defensive battle all game long. I've been so impressed with both of these defenses, especially the defensive line. They've been stout against the run. They've gotten pressure on the quarterback. It's made it tough for either one of these offenses to put up any points. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Nice run to the left there. And he stopped behind the line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on their own 29. Makes the catch and he's got nowhere to go. So the offense fails to pick up a first down. Purdue's going to take their first time out of the half. Just under two to go in the game. He really got a hold of that one. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. Purdue's given them all they can handle today, and they're still not done. Yeah, let's remember, they were a heavy underdog coming into this game, and here they are, under three minutes to go, with the football, a chance to put a drive together, and who knows, maybe they can take the lead. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And he's immediately tackled. Throw. He might have a chance. Tackle at about the 33 yard line. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. After a nice pickup. And a nice catch there before he stepped out of bounds. From the 11 yard line. First down. Under a minute left. And he carries the ball for a nice game. timeout that's their second of the half it's first down and they'll be looking for six points here they've done it i can't believe it
And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Here's the call from the referee. Delayed game, offense. You got to be careful to avoid these. Penalties are a great way to stall out a drive. So the kicker's going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. Scrambling around. They don't get it. Well, folks, do you think we can see another Cal Stanford? They need to return this all the way to win it. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. And it falls incomplete. A great one to win, a really tough one to lose. Purdue, 18. Oregon, 13. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Kerf Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.